Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well uh, Scorpio Rising, weekly general tarot reading October 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be guys interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase uh, <clears throat> either or both of these services. And as well, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, uh, just leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well live streams. So with that being said, starting up with the Scorpio reading and the very first card we do have for Scorpio, that is going to be the Two of uh, Pentacles, uh, followed by the second one here, which stands as the Six of Pentacles. The third card of our spread is going to be the uh, Eight of Wands, followed by the fourth card that stands as the Moon. And uh, the last one here, that will be the uh, Knight of Swords. So it will be slowly taking off pace kind of like a week where at the middle of it the things are gonna look very chaotic for us career-wise relationship-wise as well and at that point it will seem that you know the right direction the right course of action the right choice that we will have to make is going to be anybody's guess but it does look like at least from the cards that we are to make the right decision at that point what should we do or how we should approach certain situation, whatever our, um, whatever our personal situation is, because for according to these cards, we are to set sail toward a, the destination, direction, person, you know, business, whatever, uh, that we are meant to be there. So, um, you can take it as a, I don't, I don't know karma, but when I say karma, I don't mean in a very bad way. Just take it that we are going to start walking toward a part of our destiny or it's, it's just our destiny. But like I said, the start of the week, quite unremarkable here with the two of pentacles. That card just points that we are going to find ourselves more free than usual. Probably because we have done the most of our job beforehand and now we do have more time for ourselves or it's just because some plans are going to drop off, <clears throat> some arrangements, you know, or some meetings that we have scheduled are not going to take place. It's just we're going to find ourselves at the start of the week with a lot of a free time on our hands. And again, the two of pentacles could be a blessing. It could be a curse for everybody who is adaptable, who is agile, who can a uh, replace outdated perspectives. Uh, with a new ones on a fly on a go the, the start of the week is going to be amazing because you can look at it as an opportunist and just you know with your free time do whatever you like those who are though however um used to 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 follow their routine in a strict plan you know and they are forging their uh future days and even weeks very meticulously it will be quite unpleasant because as i said it's highly likely that plans are gonna fall uh fall apart you know aspects as well are not gonna take place as you plan it and uh, you know that is gonna aggravate you that is gonna aggravate us because i'm a scorpio as well so here at the start of the week adaptability and ability to um let go of outdated and strict plans and outdated and strict concepts is gonna play a very benign role into uh, into our environment and into our day-to-day -day routine in general. And uh, right after that, the Six of Pentacles plays out for you. And this card pretty much points that uh, with, um, how can I say, with that free time or whatever, we are to it, it's quite difficult to describe that is the moment pretty much in the uh, early stages of the week where the we the, the the routine we are used to are gonna 
fall back into uh, into a harmonious state once more now the six of pentacles has its uh, own practical interpretation and uh, you can look at it in books that it is about help and all these kind of stuff and that is true right uh, you can definitely take help at that point but just so you know that the help it's not going to resolve anything okay the help only going to postpone the inevitable and um, i will explain it that way i mean if you do observe the card here all right so we do have a rich man that it is giving change to the beggars so even though that change is gonna buy them supper probably is going to allow them to stay at, at a warm and nice place for the night Tomorrow they are going to be still beggars and the rich man is going to be a rich man as well. So there is a, a, a balance in the hierarchy that cannot be surpassed through a uh, foreign help. The beggar needs to stand up for themselves, bring themselves on their feet and do something about their lives so they can change something. And uh, that is pretty much how it's going to be with us at that point, okay? While we are going to enjoy harmony into, your, into our environment with plans, relationships, career, we have to do ourselves if we do want to make any difference at that early stages of the week. And uh, right after that, the uh, Eight of Wands plays out for us. And this card points that towards the middle of the week, we are going to uh, start speeding up into our routine. There are going to be doors opening. There are going to be opportunities coming our way. Uh, imagine it that way that you are sitting in a stream of river, all right? Uh, and uh, there is a, a lot of uh, uh, for logs floating towards us in this river and every log it's an opportunity so we do get to decide which opportunity to take now the thing with the eight of wands though it is that not all of these opportunities are meant for us to take and this is where the eight of wands differs from the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is pretty much you can get away with anything that comes your way taking it as an opportunity that is not the case with the eight of wands and if an opportunities or rather like the possibilities for an opportunities are not faced with a clear headed mind then we do risk to lose in fact everything we have uh, in some cases so when the uh, environment speeds up at the middle of the week and you have few people to date with you know few projects to pick from and so on and so forth be very objective about your possibilities, be very objective about the surrounding environment, be very objective about the opportunity itself, because you, we may throw ourselves in an opportunity that we are not simply ready for, or it's an opportunity of a dead end, you know, so be careful what you decide to go about with. But I don't think that we have a luxury to make the wrong choice here, because the moon card plays afterwards and the moon card man so um that is towards the uh, late stages of the week here scorpio and at that point we are gonna seriously feel uh uncertain had we made the right choice with the opportunities from the eight of wands uh we're gonna have that emotional disbalance we're gonna have that uh, wavering wavering within us uh, emotional di disturbance so to speak and so yeah we are gonna feel quite insecure uh, and that is mostly because when we have when we had made our choice what opportunity to take from the eight of wands we do not see now the unfoldment of it we do not see now how the circumstances are playing out around us and especially circumstances that does not depend on us okay and because we don't have a full information and because we don't have a clear view over uh, how things are unfolding and where things are going toward that is going to make us think that we have made the wrong choice and this is where our fantasy of the doom and gloom truly kicks in but in reality there is nothing that we should be uh, worried about because um, it's not described very well here in this card but in the traditional deck you can see that the moon has a path that goes between two towers which tower in tarot it's a symbol of everything we have built okay 
and is going behind the summit. So that's a path that we have to walk. It's pretty much it's our path. Okay, and everything around it is shrouded by uh, by darkness, by gloom. So you do not get to see what it is around you. But it is a path that goes beyond the summit. Summits are a symbols of our spiritual growth, and beyond the summit. It's a place where we have to be. So we don't get to see where we have to be, but it's a place we got to go there. And there is a reason why we cannot see, because if we do see, we get to change it and we are not supposed to change it. That is a destination we are supposed to be by faith. And therefore, that's why I said at the start of the reading that is going to be karmic, not exactly karmic, faithful, um, a faithful week for us. And along the path that we are to walk at the end of the week, this individual shows up and the additional card that is going to be the uh, justice. So we do have the Knights of Swords with the justice card. That is a very strong elemental dignity. We do have a... Um, active supporters into that direction so that is a person with a great sense of personal accountability that is a person who does have the astute discernment to 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 realize what is important and what is not important thus far that is a person who though always takes decisions or always decides in favor of of things they like but in the same time their choices does make sense. What I'm trying to say is that is a person who never does the wrong move. Okay, it's it's simply it, it sounds superficial, but it is what the card says. By the way, that is the second time I'm seeing this elemental dignity within my um, within my career. So it's a pretty rare one, and uh, they are doing it through a very sharp and keen intellectual. Uh, how can I say, clarity, so to speak. And these people, they are a truth seekers as well. But what kind of a role they're going to play into our life, I cannot say right now. But definitely, but definitely if they like us as a uh, individual, they are going to uh, try to either help us, side with us, or, or be our partner or whatever. Because again, these people, they always make decisions in favor of their emotions and of their feelings. So with that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, weekly general tarot reading, October 18th up until October 24th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.